Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, January 19th, 2021. One plus nine is 20 and two or 20 reduces to two and two is the number for balance, for duality, for relationships, um, harmony in our life. So pay attention to our relationships today. Maybe things that we can receive um, from them, insight, or maybe because it is Mercury retrograde, that could be a warning that we might feel some of this unrest within our relationships and kind of just a signal to find balance when we're feeling unsure or maybe our emotions have gotten the best of us, right? Because we do live on the planet of duality and you know, what is put in is put out and we have Mercury retrograde going on right now. So that is what is being put into the universe. Um, I feel like this, inter it's, the energy has been interesting. It's been very like, I feel like the universe has been loud on its message of like, learn and grow, make mistakes and keep going on, right? Like we're, we're growing the way that we communicate. We're growing the way that we are utilizing our ideas. And it wants us to just really stay focused on our connection to our communication with ourself, right? But I also think that's very beautiful. Sorry. Okay. What do we got here? We got the devil in the reverse at the bottom. I like that. Nine of Cups hiding down here too. But today we have the Hero Font and the Wheel of Fortune. So I love that because it's speaking about relationships. Um, the Hero Font reminds me of, or is like a sense of secure, a sense of community for me. He's like a religious figure standing here in front of a bunch of people and he's like giving a sermon, right? He's preaching, but he's also in the, in, in the doorway of their desires and the things that they want. And these people are coming to him for the insight and inspiration on how to achieve their dreams and how to achieve their desires. And he's kind of giving them, you know, the spiritual knowledge, the spiritual tools to make that happen. So I love that today was the, the number two, and just like talking about our relationships, our relationship to the connection with ourselves, but then also our spirituality, right? So do we have a community of people that we can go to about these things or that we can share our ideas when it comes to our spirituality and what we desire in our lives. He's sitting here, like there's this box beneath his feet and there's like these two keys crossed, right? So Ryan's we have a crossroad. This is a, a moment, especially with this Wheel of Fortune here being 10 in this Roman numeral, gives me the same feeling of a crossroad. It is this crossroad into this new way of living connected to our spirituality and and our desires, right? Where our desires are the key. It's like our desires and our spirituality together are the key to moving forward. And we receive this today. And also thinking like, do we have people around us that share the same values, share the same beliefs, practice the same things that we do that can support us in times of uncertainty, like Mercury retrograde, that help us stay connected to what we really want in the process that we're going through, right? That help us stay connected to our goals. And that's very important. The hero font is five. So five is the number for freedom. And this is a time to really liberate ourselves from old ways of thinking of the past, old beliefs. Um, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune that just being like karma coming around, right? I, what did I talk about? Balance, what you put in is what you get out. And that's what's really happening here. The wheels are turning in favor for us to kind of receive a new beginning, right? And when I did my video for the week of Mer this week of Mercury retrograde, I pulled judgment and I feel like today we may feel or we may get that that message, this intervention, what we're being called to you know, realize for ourselves in our life because we are connected to ourselves in a deeper way today. We've went through the trials and tribulations. We're learning how to access all these elements, our mind, our creativity, our security, our abundance, our dreams, and use them all together in a way that's beneficial to us. And also even, you know, swords are still present in today's card because this Sphinx here is holding a sword that's pointed up. And other than justice, it's the only other card that has a blue sword. And blue again is the, number, is the color the number the color for intuition and clarity and you can trust that these ideas that you're receiving these messages that you're getting this knowledge is like internal wisdom that is just kind of being in I want to say like inspired within you is coming from a good source is coming from something that you can trust so some a place that is you know in favor of freeing you from the things that kept you held back before so I really enjoy this energy today and then what we have oh my gosh uh, 10 plus 5 is 
15 and then 1 plus 5 is 6 so 6 again we've had three sixes this week so pay attention to six 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 we that's what this is um but we have temporary opportunity to allow our internal guidance to put us on the right track and so tune into that today because that is going to be very beneficial to us and especially moving through this so i love this i love you guys if you'd like to know more about me you can check out my website that's ashleyrose.com follow me on instagram as well that's ashleyrosetarot the links are in the description and i will see you guys tomorrow